chosen one against Master yet. It is actually chosen one versus a decal who has advanced through this bracket as a Yane, and uh, he's doing pretty good. Um, you know, what do you think about these two players? You know, decal has made it a lot farther than I thought he would, but. Chosen One is kind of a wall for most players to cross. I mean, he, he does not get defeated easily. It took Kayani to bring him down the first time, right? Uh, Black Mamba. Oh, it was Black Mamba. That's right. I'm sorry. I got the two mixed up there for a moment. Yes. But yes, I mean, even so, before that, you know, he was pretty cleanly sweeping everybody around him. So, yeah. I don't know. You, I don't know. You are right. He was uh, defeated by Mamba earlier, but you know what? He is coming back with a vengeance, but unfortunately, Decal seems to be doing pretty well with Ayane here. Yeah, he does, definitely. I mean, I don't know. Decal has he's definitely done better than I thought he would, so, you know, there's there's a very good chance here we might see something. But, that oh my a, gosh, oh. that was a lot of damage. Oh my god, into those danger zones, which is extremely painful. And you know what? Chosen One is proving to us I am here and I am going to win with a very beautiful great in that last round he did not take one hit and that's how you get a great in this game you know one thing i've always wondered though what's that who's the chosen one who is he chosen by <laughs> I, uh, I have no idea but in this case he was chosen by tecmo to come out here and uh, show this game and he is doing uh, such Whoa. a great matter and uh, look at all that health he is taking yeah i mean any of the wall hits into that flaming truck there, you know, they just do so much damage. It's crazy. Very nice grab by Decal there. Beautiful, exactly what he needs to take on Chosen One here. And, uh, you know, he is really doing and utilizing Ayane. Here we go. No wall hit there, unfortunately. The steel beams don't count as any kind of a surface, so it's just kind of an invisible barrier. But it's not stopping Chosen One from just wrecking Decal. That is right, but you know what? Decal is spacing and he is blocking. He is not going to give up, but it is an even match now between these two players. It is two and two. Anybody can take this. And Decal starting off with a nice two-hit combo, getting first blood. He is definitely knows what he's doing. First blood, man. That makes me want to play, what was it, Unreal Tournament? <laughs> I love that game, but anyway, we're playing DOA here. <laughs> yeah, not too much blood going on in this game. In fact, none at all. But, oh, here Chosen One comes. And oh, oh, we thought Decal might damage. have been able to take that, but it doesn't matter because oh, Chosen One showed him that he knows how to play Hayate. And you even notice in Hayate's face, he just looks more human. Yeah, I mean, he, he looks... He's also got that kind of stoic emotion to him. I mean, he's not totally, you know, totally emotionless. He just look, kind of looks like he's angry and repressing it, you know? Right. <laughs> well, he is the leader of the Mugen Tension Clan, and perhaps that is the attitude that he has to maintain to show that, uh, you know what, I'm the leader, and uh, I'm here to show you how it's done. Yeah. All right, well, here Yaz, actually another pro player, only from the Counter-Strike scene, uh, somebody who obviously I'm familiar with from the Ultimate Gamer Show. He uh, He's talking to Chosen One there, and you know what's funny is that uh, from the show, you know, Chosen One was also on Ultimate Gamer, and it's, it's kind of funny, you know, it starts to definitely turn into a little family reunion here uh, with all these players that just start to show up out of the blue. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they really do just come out in droves at events like these. and Yeah. It, it's fun to see them pop up. I mean, <laughs> it is. we had it no is. idea Black Mamba was coming, and boom, oh, here's That's Jeremy true. Florence, people. I mean. <laughs> and he definitely showed how much he is still good at DOA because he is in the final eight, which will be showing it tomorrow. Be sure to tune in for that because if you want to see DOA 5 played at its finest, it will be tomorrow in this final eight. Yeah, if, if you tuned in only to see some high-level DOA 5 matches going on, you know, the, it, it is inexcusable to miss tomorrow. There's there's no reason you should be missing it. That is exactly true, Rakuto. And Chosen One now is going to go into a second match against Decal. And it's really surprising to see somebody that, I, you know, I've never heard of Decal before. And here he is proving that, you know, he is not going to give up. Oh, oh. And he actually switched characters. He is now using Christy instead of Ayane. Oh man, I, I'm telling you, there's so much of this weird, th there's like a link between Christy and Ayane, or Christy versus Ayane. It always goes back and forth between the two. It's so weird. I think he might be right there. But here we go. Uh, you know, he's he's not quite going to get the damage he needs, but he's trying his best. Very nice. You know, it looked like Chosen One was going to punish him, but actually Christy came in with the better hit there. 
like it. Wow, he just took a whole lot of damage there. This is gonna finish him off, no doubt. There it is. That was a very beautiful wake up counter by Chosen One. He seems to be pretty good at guessing how somebody is gonna wake up off the ground. But of course, in this version of DOA, there actually is only two choices now of attacks that you have from wake up. Yeah, you've only got the low and the, the uh, mid option now, which is a step back from the, uh, of course, the high that they also had in DOA 4. Kind of made people a little angry that they had so many options to guess between in DOA 4, but now, you know, you don't have to think too hard anymore. It is just a basic <laughs> wake of attack, so. That you know. should definitely help a lot of the people that are new to this game so that they don't have such a steep learning curve. But Chosen One here is now in the lead 2 to 0. Uh, I think Decal might have made a mistake here by choosing Christy. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's getting him as far as Ayane did, unfortunately. And wow, into the generator again and again and again. It seems like Chosen One is really good at using those kind of expended danger zones to just deal damage over and over again. And I can tell that Chosen One is making more of an effort here to try and guess how his opponent's going to wake up so he can get that damage. Yeah, he doesn't want to seem to let any of that stuff go. Speaking of hard hats, there is one on the floor. Perhaps Christy does have uh, something that matches this stage. Oh, yeah, that would make sense, actually. 